who are out there who've tried looking for a new diet for the new year will probably have found that it's next to impossible to choose one that's right for you. Are we looking in the right places? What should we be looking for? Or should we even be looking in the first place? Joining us now is nutritionist Kirsty Williams with a few tips on how to start thinking about a change this year. Kirsty, welcome to the show. Hello. Um, we were just talking before as well, this can be very confusing. Kind of this time of year, people want to make a change. Yeah. So what's the best way to go about it? You're right, it can be really confusing. Um, it's a good time of year to make a change. Everybody feels quite enthusiastic with the new year, so it's great to capitalise on that. But I think um, one of the biggest traps that people get into is that they try to do too much all at once. Um, you've got to remember that you've got the whole year to make your changes. So making small things is really important and trying not to cut out too much. I think that's the trouble, isn't it? You know, the excesses of Christmas and you yes. think, right, this is going to be it. I'm mm -hmm. going to start. I'm going to join a gym. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. And you're going to fall possibly at the first hurdle because too much to expect, as we're yeah, saying. Exactly. So what sort of small things should we be looking at? Um, I think one of the main things for people is trying to make sure that they actually do eat enough. It sounds funny when okay. you think, as you said, the excesses of Christmas and you want to, you're, you're thinking about cutting down, which is probably right, but people need to remember that it's still really important to eat three good meals a day, breakfast, whatever your mum told that you. That must be one of the worst traps in it, people skip meals. Yeah, exactly. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day. We've all been told that for years, but it sets you up for the day. It means that you, you're having um, some good fuel to start the day um, so that you're keeping your blood sugar balanced by eating regularly throughout the day. What sort of things? I mean, you're not a breakfast eater, are you? Well, I, I do. I tend to, I tend to graze. Yeah, I yeah. Sort of but I mean, you, you know, he's slim, which is so annoying. He <laughs> irritates me beyond measure. Um, but, I mean, it's... it's <laughs> well, it just irritates. Me. Um, but I mean not everybody can eat first thing in the morning can they? No exactly and that's the thing and I have a lot of people that say that to me but you don't have to eat as soon as you get out of bed. A lot of people it works maybe when they get to the office or whatever you eat so so long as you really eat within a, a couple of hours of getting up oh, right. um, mm. I would say that's that's all right or maybe have something small at home and yeah. then have and a and bigger breakfast. It's the work. type isn't it? I mean yeah. so is it okay to, to have a, a, a fried breakfast, a cooked breakfast or? Occasionally a cooked breakfast I think I'm a big fan of the 80 20 rule so you know don't limit everything make sure that you know you sort of 80% of the time you're you're good and 20% you allow yourself yes. a, a yeah. treat but having a cooked breakfast every day would not be ideal but it could be healthy you know some scrambled eggs with some grilled bacon mm. some grilled tomatoes that's actually quite a healthy breakfast yeah and also we see a lot of things in supermarkets now things being labeled differently yeah uh, how can we what are the signs to look out for on those labels um labeling there's been lots of improvements in labeling recently which is really good news um use the traffic light system don't they? yeah the traffic light system makes things a lot easier because obviously it's quite clear you've got the red amber and the green for for things that you're looking for. Um, some of the traps that people get into, I think, is they tend to go for a lot of low fat or low sugar or sugar free stuff, which is really heavily marketed nowadays. And actually something that's been processed to be low fat could actually be mm. worse for you because it could have other things Aspartame, put in, in place. Aspartame, is it? Is that one of them Aspartame, they talk about? yeah, that's, a, that's for the low sugar. Yeah. That's a, an artificial sweetener. Yeah. And there's lots, so there's been lots of sort of controversy and press about mm. about them. Well let's just uh, whip through um, some of your top tips yeah, yeah, and I know sugar is, is the thing at the moment isn't it? Yes. Um, so there we are a blood sugar balancing diet means what? So it basically means that you're it's like what we were saying you're eating little and often so you're making sure that you're eating three good meals a day with a couple of snacks in between is absolutely fine making sure that your blood sugar doesn't spike up really suddenly and then come down again. Let's okay. have a look at the next one which is uh, well limit sugar. Sugar does seem to be the bad person at it the does, moment and I'm afraid <laughs> it's pretty much all justified Is there's it? a huge okay. amount in the press but it does really have some negative effects yes. on, on your health so it's better okay. to limit and as the next, next one, one is uh, obviously drink plenty of water interestingly sometimes when you're hungry if you yeah. drink water that mm. that's Exactly. Oh, that, that actually can stop you from feeling hungry. Completely. Yeah. I mean, most of our bodies are about 60% water, so you really do need to drink a lot. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the next one, keep active. obviously, keep active, yeah. which is it's it's a combination of diet and exactly. exercise, really. It's isn't hard. It? We're very sedentary nowadays yeah. Yeah. as a population, but you know, take the stairs at work, walk where you can, little changes are good. Wonderful. Okay. And there's a new app from Brighthood oh. on the radio today as well. About did you scan the barcodes at the shops yes. of the kids, and, and it tells you how much sugar's in. Yeah, it, which is great. Yeah, that's it's great to get them involved. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Well, okay. Well, we've Thanks, all got to. Well, I've got to start getting fitter. You're all right, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank note. you. Yeah, on Thanks, that note. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. You too.
Right, well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for tonight, but we'll be back tomorrow with more Mustard Show magic when we'll be joined by our Wizard of Wildlife, Nick Atchison. Oh, we've been really spoiled with Nick Atchison. I then like we've him. got Ellen Mary on Wednesday. Yeah, there you We're are. lucky, aren't we? Mm. And lots, lots more to come Lots, as well. lots more. Great, we'll see you then.